Monkey back here with the Sabre Defense booth. Got my buddy David here to break down some little history and the latest hot stuff for here at SHOT Show 2010. All right, appreciate it. Well, the first thing I guess I've got to talk about is the M16 rifle. And uh, just one of those amazing things that's making history now. We're in company with some great other companies out there, two other ones that have ever supplied the mil-spec M16 rifle to the U.S. troops. And we're proud to be part of that this year. Just finished our first article testing. Everything submitted, we're in full production. And we are proud to supply the best weapon we possibly can to our troops in the field with the M16 A3s and A4s. So moving on, I guess, what, uh, what most of the viewers and most people can have, the since these are fun to do, is uh, what we've come out with this year as a new product is uh, we got it in three different lines. We have it in the M4 Tactical, the M5 Tactical, and the Competition Deluxe Tactical Ooh. Rifles with the Adams Arms Piston System. What we've done with is we've partnered up with Adams Arms, uh, tested a lot of different piston systems, a few design things of our own too, and came out and just really love this system. It's running smooth for us. It's helping, it, it's, uh, it's strong, it's durable, and it takes the torture test that has earned the name to be on a Sabre Defense Rifle, and we really like that. Great. So one of the, couple of the neat features with it on this is you've got the turns on it where you can adjust your gas system where you go a quarter turn, or you can turn it off if you run a suppression, okay? Which we like to do that sometimes <laughs> too. So it's real easy to operate. Yeah, you simply nice turn it off, take your piece out there, and you've got your piston rod, which is seated down in here with the spring on it, so it's real easy. Your rod comes out. One of the neat things we found is this is usually one of those areas on this rod where a lot of wear and tear gets because it's a big moving part on there. We take this rod and we add an extra melanite process to it and it's ion bonded. Anybody who knows that ion bond process knows that this stuff really makes it tough. Okay, and we've test fired a lot of rounds to this thing, which by the way is a little fun, but uh, and uh, taking it all the way to a lot of stress tests and find this to be one of the best systems we could possibly run. The uh, ion bond's good for anti-friction? Yeah, for anti-friction, it's, uh, it's also uh, is a lot uh, tougher and durable than just a simple uh, phosphate process or anodized on that. Mm -hmm. So one of the other things that's pretty neat is on the bolt system that we've done for it for this year with Adam's arms as well. This system on there, appreciate you on that, is uh, we've got a spring-loaded bolt because one of the other issues that you've got is when that piston rod's hitting it, what'll happen to it is it'll cause sometimes for the, for the bolt carrier to tilt. Mm -hmm. so this takes away that option where with the spring-loaded uh, bolt system on there as well as because if this metal hits your upper receiver, it's a lot stronger than that aluminum in there. Some of the other things we've got, it's a one-piece bolt carrier with some stress relief cuts on here, so it really makes it a tough system. And uh, we're proud to be part of that and proud to introduce it to the market and call it a Sabre Defense Rifle. Cool. Great for showing us, and we hope you enjoyed watching as well. Thanks, guys.